Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. Sorry for the weird angle of the camera, but I just grabbed whatever was closest to me to balance the camera, the tripod on. So it's a little bit higher than I would like, but maybe, maybe whatever it'll do. <laughs> okay, so I just got done um, filming a side-by-side -side comparison of the Oracle of the Radiant Sun. So that video will be up for you guys to enjoy. Um, I have my beautiful Rider Waite Tarot here, and let's shuffle the cards and see which one we will talk about today for Talk Tarot. And if it's one we've already discussed, we'll pass. We will, ooh, let's do the Ten of Cups. I don't think we've done Ten of Cups. So, okay. Get yourself your tarot deck. If you own a tarot deck, pull out the Ten of Cups so you have something to look at. And also get yourself your tarot journal, a pen and pencil, your highlighters, and let's get ready to take some notes. We are going to discuss Ten of Cups energy. So again, my card that I'm using, I'm using it from the Rider Waite Tarot. Um, but any deck that you own will do as long as it has a Ten of Cups. So, Ten of Cups energy. Let's do some keywords first. Um, first of all, the cups is water. So, cup suit represents the water, and water is your emotions, your feelings, your love, your, your connection to other people, um, your relationships, your love life, all of that. Okay? So, some quick keywords for the Ten of Cups, I would say, are family, togetherness, happy endings, happiness, fulfillment, abundance. Um, I would say love, peace. Those are just some keywords off the top of my head. Um, I like to give out some ideas for keywords because I think um, I think it gives us an opportunity to utilize our intuition. But if we have a couple keywords that we know for every card, it makes it easier to read the cards, especially for like having a brain fart in the middle of a reading and you're sitting in front of somebody. <laughs> At least you can always throw some keywords out there to give yourself some extra time while you're thinking up, oh my God, like how is this card, you know, making me feel. Okay, so in terms of self, yourself, your personality, um, who you are, your energy, if you were to be pulling this card for yourself, Ten of Cups energy can say you are well-rounded, that you are fulfilled, okay? I'm really taking notice of the rainbow and the multiple colors of the rainbow really makes me think of the chakra energies. So if you're into the chakras or your energy centers, to me, that's where I'm saying it's like you are well balanced, you are fulfilled. Um, so your energy at this moment is completion. You are maybe in the energy of wanting to find or seek out some answers or embracing the happy ending. Um, you are in a, a moment of finality. Okay, it's a 10 card. So that X at the top of the card represents number 10. And tens are the ending of a cycle, the end of a path, the end of a journey, the end of an experience. So in this card, the, um, the vibration of it obviously is positivity, okay? If you were to pull it in reverse, it could be complete opposite energy. So if you read reversals or you are learning reversals, I always tell my students um, the first thing is the way I read reversal is... Um, the opposite meaning of the, the, the upright, which is like your quick and easy to go um, <clears throat> way of reading the reversal. <laughs> but of course, also use your intuition. How do you feel about a Ten of Cups in reversed? Okay, so Ten of Cups energy for yourself. This can explain maybe you are within community. Maybe you are in the process or you are working a lot around a lot of people. So Ten of Cups energy can say you're, you're giving off a lot of a beautiful, abundant energy and you are receiving the same thing. So you're just networking right now. Um, maybe this is a good sign that you are making connections with family and friends. You could be reconnecting. 
okay? Um, the card itself reminds me of like one of those family reunions or a barbecue. So it could just mean just the need to um, wrap yourself around multiple people. It could be the need to spend some time around family or friends, okay? Um, for yourself, when you're looking at this, it could be also just feeling peace. Um, I feel peaceful and happy and just like really comforted when I look at this card. Um, I feel like I'm together, I'm one, okay? So it's just to me, it's, it's to me, I just keep going with the chakra energy. Your emotions are 100%, okay? So you're just in a really good space. Um, if you're talking about the love life, so your love life, um, and you pull the 10 of cups, this can reveal really good things coming your way. The um, relationship itself is fulfilled. There's abundance on the way. This could be also an, an announcement of adding another member to the family. So you could look at this card as a sign of pregnancy. Um, you can look at the sign as um, moving into your first place together, okay? Or buying your first house. Um, you can look at this as just overall the happy ending. So good things are happening in your relationship. If you're single and you pull the Ten of Cups, this can reveal maybe your insights of what you are looking for with love. Maybe you're looking for or you need to attract a mate who is family oriented. Maybe you yourself are thinking about settling down. Who do I want to marry? What kind of a mate do I want to spend the rest of my life with? Um, and so the Ten of Cups energy can be somebody who is a family person or someone who may want children, okay? That could be a big one too. Um, if you're pulling it in terms of like the direction that your relationship is headed, obviously this would show happy endings. It would show maybe taking the relationship to another level, moving in together, having a baby, having that pregnancy announcement, or... Um, you know, just overall good stuff. Maybe this just simply means that your relationship is finally in the energy of peace, whereas two months before you guys were like biting each other's heads off. <laughs> um, if you guys pull the reversals on this, obviously use opposite energy. If you are married and you pull the 10 of cups in reverse, this can show perhaps some disconnect in your marriage. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's falling apart or over, but it could be a warning sign that there's some disconnect in the marriage or maybe it's some negative energies in the hap in the home life versus a 10 of cups can reveal positive energies. Um, a 10 of cups in reverse for single could be maybe you're tired of being solo and you're actually looking for somebody to spend the rest of your life with, but you're not quite sure how you want to get to that point. And then at that point, obviously, I would pull more cards for that to get more insight on that. Now let's talk about money and finances. So money and finances with a 10 of cups would tell me that the job that you are seeking or the job you are currently in is a good one. It could show fulfillment in this job. It could show that your relationships with your coworkers are on point. Take in mind that if you pull it in the reverse, it would mean the opposite of that, right? It could mean that your job status is maybe not going so well or you're hitting a roadblock or you are hitting the, the dead end, like there's no more growth in your job. Um, if you pull this in reverse as far as money goes, it could say maybe you don't have enough in the savings account or maybe there was like something came up that you weren't prepared for and you had to put money into it and now you're like, in the negative in your bank account until you get paid again. I mean, it could be something basic like that. Um, the Ten of Cups energy can be maybe you're not emotionally fulfilled in your job because you have to remember the cup suit is your emotions, okay? So it could be you're not emotionally fulfilled or you are not embracing your, maybe your connections with your coworkers. You just don't feel like you're part of the community, okay? Um, in terms of money, also, this could be maybe you need to work from home. <laughs> so it could be something like that. Some of you guys might resonate with that. Um, it could be working child care. I mean, if you're pulling this card for like what kind of a job, you know, what kind of a job status would be best for me, and you pull the Ten of Cups, I would tell the pa my patron, <laughs> I would tell my client, um, perhaps looking into, you know, 
child care or nursing or something health care I don't I don't know I for some reason I think of health care when I see this card um, so you got to get creative and listen to your intuition too. don't just pay attention to the fact that there is a cup suit but also pay attention to you know what's going on in the picture and then the people in the picture just kind of make me think this is a line of work that has to do with helping others or working amongst a bunch of people rather than doing a solo project. Um, the other thing is, um, well, this maybe that would be more spiritual. Let's wait for that. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, so that's money and finances. So let's talk about the, um, what do we do next? The future, so the future tends, if we were to talk about the future, this card can represent a pregnancy announcement. It could represent adding a new addition to your family, adoption. It could represent maybe an upcoming family celebration or some kind of big event that's gonna involve family or friends, okay? This card could represent a marriage. It could rep represent, um, like I said, receiving good news on your first house or apartment. Um, it could represent maybe you're like looking to move and, and finally finding a new destination point for yourself. Um, just overall abundance. I just see that the, the cups aligned and the rainbow is representing abundance coming your way in the near future. Obviously, in the reverse form, this could be a sign of maybe some disconnect with your emotions, with yourself. This could be a breakup. This could be a divorce on the, on the horizon. This could be not everything going your way. Um, maybe this is like a little rift in the whole abundance department. You're not going to be receiving much. This could be missing a paycheck or coming up short with the bills. It could be a lot of different things. Um, I can go on forever about this stuff. <laughs> and then spiritually speaking, so your spiritual connection, um, I was thinking of this card as meaning being enlightened or being um, inspired by God or inspired by a book or a quote or something someone says to you that just inspires you spiritually and it makes you want to learn more about yourself or your higher self or your relationship with God or whatever. Um, spiritually speaking, to me, this is like, again, chakra energy. So this is the need for balancing yourself, becoming more grounded and more overall connected with yourself spiritually. Um, this could be also finding a mate that just connects with you, a mentor. This doesn't just have to be love. This could be a relationship, like a mentor relationship, a Reiki teacher or a tarot reader or just somebody who makes you feel connected to yourself, okay? Um, spiritually speaking, this could be going to get an energy healing um, or having a Reiki session done on you or a crystal healing or a tarot reading. Um, in the reversal, I was gonna say this can be um, alcohol issues. Uh, that's like the one thing that was popping up because I was thinking about the cup suit and how um, the cup suit in reverse just makes me think of negative, like your negative um, tendencies with alcohol or substance abuse. And then maybe it's causing like a rift with the family or in your relationship or you're just feeling disconnected from family and friends. You're not like you're not being yourself, you know. So I was thinking of this as like attending, you know. AA meetings or attending narcotic anonymous meetings um, for some people spiritually. Maybe that's like your doorway into learning more about yourself, your higher self by getting help for substance abuse. Um, this could be domestic violence, okay? This could also represent domestic violence. This card, well, this card being as cheery as it looks in a reverse can give some of the most darkest feelings. Okay, and that's the beauty of tarot is that you may have a gorgeous card, but in that reversal and with the right client and that energy that you're feeling, this can mean the darkest shit. This could be someone's past, you know, like their past issues with someone in the family that maybe took them, took advantage of them. This could be a broken home. This could be molestation. This could be, like I said, alcohol abuse or, um, like a, a breakup, a divorce. This is big. 
this could be, don't, don't take those beautiful cards for granted. I'm telling you, you're, even if you don't read reversals and you look at this, you may not always get sunshine and rainbows when you, when you look at this card. Sometimes you might be sickened by it just based on what you're feeling or what's coming up. So always trust those intuitive feelings, you guys, because I'm telling you, just because a card looks beautiful doesn't mean it's always going to give you that beautiful message. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you guys, that is basically everything that I can think of right now for the 10 of cups. I hope that this helped you out. I hope that you came up with a lot of new insights and you took a lot of notes. Um, if you have anything else you would like to add, please comment below. I would love to hear your insights on the 10 of cups, um, or, or any additional things you have to say about it. Start that dialogue with everybody. Cause you know, everyone's in a different place in their tarot journey. Um, thank you guys for tuning in and I will talk to you later. Bye my loves.